Hello and welcome to the course of Computer Network Part 2 and today we are going to discuss about um, data link layer addressing techniques uh, that is uh, MAC address and uh, if a node, a source node doesn't know about its uh, destination's MAC address or its uh, next hope MAC address then how ARP is going to help uh, ARP is a protocol which stands for address resolution protocol how that particular protocol is going to help to get the MAC address from a IP address of a particular system so uh, before going into the detail of uh, MAC address uh, we need to first of all understand the basic difference between our uh, IP address uh, works which works for network layer and MAC address which works for data link layer MAC uh, basically IP address is used for uh, identifying a particular machine running inside a network and uh, it works for network layer and it is used for like uh, source to destination like uh, transferring the complete information from source to destination and it is responsible for delivering a particular packet from source to destination but uh, unlike unlike uh, IP address uh, your MAC address is something different which works at data link layer and this particular address is responsible for transferring a particular frame from current node network interface card to the uh, next node network interface card or uh, next node so it is responsible for transferring a particular frame uh, from present node to the next node and uh, MAC address is of 48 bits long which is uh, hard coded on the network interface card as, as I have told you earlier as well many times that uh, uh, IP address is IP address is of uh, 32 bits long if we talk about uh, IP version 4 and uh, IP addresses are given to source and destinations only and uh, in, a, in a particular packet it, it remains same throughout its journey from source to destination what I mean to say is if uh, source and destination IP addresses are mentioned in a packet at, at uh, at source then they will remain same throughout its journey it's it's a kind of address of source and destination and uh, unlike IP address MAC address is something which uh, which is uh, given to all the network interface cards and it is responsible for uh, present uh, transferring a particular frame from present node to the next node it has nothing to do with the source and destination as far as uh, this addressing technique is concerned this addressing technique is helping a particular packet to reach from source to destination uh, and uh, as we all know that source and destination is known by the IP addresses only and MAC address is going to help uh, that particular packet to reach from source to destination and it is of 48 bits long as you can see uh, in front of uh, you that uh, that is how you can write your MAC address it is of uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's is uh, hexadecimal notation uh, base 16 notation and each number represents four bits so that is how uh, you can write a MAC address and uh, one unique thing about MAC address is no two network interface card can have same MAC address so there will never be a MAC address conflict so let's let's uh, understand local area network addresses and uh, ARP address resolution protocol deeply as you can see it's it's a local area network which is a wired which is also called a wired LAN and all the uh, nodes which are connected with this particular local area network is got network interface card and the, these are the MAC addresses which are hard coded on their 
network interface cards you can see in uh, in green color these are the this green color rectangle represents network interface card and this particular address is hard coded on this particular network interface card so uh, this particular system is got ip address and a mac address in the same way this particular system has a ip and uh, a mac address and so on each adapter on lan has unique local area network address so uh, even in routers as well if a router is got four serial ports then that particular router is got four ip addresses and four mac addresses uh, respectively and then now you can see a uh, local area address and it tells uh, something more about uh, mac addresses mac addresses allocation administered administered by ieee uh, manufacturer buys portion of mac address space uh, to assure the uniqueness as i told you earlier that no two network interface card in this whole world uh, can have same mac address so that thing is uh, taken care by ieee and uh, um, and uh, it we, we have uh, analogy which represents a social security number as a mac address and a postal address as a ip address so social security number or you can say in india a aadhaar number which is given to a particular person which which cannot be changed so mac address of a particular system uh, cannot be changed because it's hard coded on its network interface card but ip address is like a postal address you if you are residing uh, inside a house and uh, at that moment that is your ip address but if you change your house you uh, shift to some other place then uh, that particular house will be your um, ip address so uh, that is why we always call mac address a physical address uh, which is hard coded on the network interface card which cannot be changed and ip address is always called a logical address which is used for identifying a particular machine and uh, now we will see how arp arp stands for address resolution protocol how arp is going to determine a mac address uh from a ip address so in inside the network if if a node knows about its destination's ip address but it doesn't know about its mac address then how that uh, ip uh, arp protocol address resolution protocol will get you the mac address of that particular system with the help of that particular system's ip address it's very easy it's done with the help of address resolution protocol uh, tables so let's let's see how it works a rp table each ip node can be a host or a router on a lan has a table ip mac address mappings for same uh, lan nodes so there is a arp table which has got three uh, columns the first column says ip address the second column says mac address and the third column says ttl uh we have already discussed ttl uh, many times before ttl stands for time to live and here it means that time after which address mapping will be forgotten typically it's it's 20 minutes long and uh, we have nothing to do uh, with this ttl right now we need to understand how this particular uh, arp table is created in a particular system uh, where uh, mac addresses are written against ip addresses so that we'll see shortly so uh, let's assume that uh, system a wants to send a datagram to system b or system a wants to send a frame to system b but uh, b's mac address uh, is uh, not in a's arp table which means that a doesn't know about the mac address of system b but a knows about the ip address of system b so how a is going to get the mac address of system b in its uh, arp table for the next reference so first of all a 
creates a ARP query packet and A uh, broadcasts that particular packet in the whole network uh, containing uh, B's IP address in its destination field and as far as destination MAC address is concerned it will put this universal uh, broadcast MAC address in its uh, destination MAC address so if any node inside a network finds this address as a destination address in a frame that particular node has to accept that this this particular frame uh, normally what happens whenever uh, in a particular LAN whenever a frame comes to a particular node first of all that particular node uh, try to find the destination MAC address try to uh, fetch the destination MAC address from that particular frame and try to match that particular uh, MAC address with its own MAC address if both the addresses are matched then only that particular node accepts that particular frame otherwise that node discards that particular frame but in case of ARP protocol address resolution protocol if it's a ARP query then data link layer puts this universal uh, broadcast MAC address at the destination MAC address field so that all the nodes present in that particular network will accept that particular ARP query and once that once that particular ARP query is accepted by a particular node then that particular node can easily remove the uh, that uh, header and trailer part of that frame and after removing the header and trailer part of that frame that frame becomes uh, packet and that particular node can easily uh, take out the uh, destination address of uh, the destination address IP IP uh, destination address and matches with its own IP address if that thing uh, matches if nodes IP address and that packets IP address is matched then uh, that particular node replies with the MAC address uh, to uh, that particular system or to node A as it does over here B receives ARP packet replies to A with its B's MAC address frame sent to A's uh, MAC address and it's, it's in the form of unicasting once a gets to know about B's MAC address it A saves that particular MAC address in its ARP uh, table against the IP address of uh, system D and uh, that is how it, it works ARP is a plug and play protocol as well so it the nodes uh, create their ARP tables without intervention from network administrator so it's 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 very simple and uh, very uh, important protocol at data link layer let me brief you uh, once again ARP is a protocol which is used for determining MAC address uh, from a particular IP address so how it works as we just discussed uh, a couple of minutes back that uh, whenever a node has to send a particular frame to a particular destination that frame that that particular node has to have uh, that destination's IP address and MAC address as well but if if that particular node the source node doesn't uh, have the MAC address of the destination it uses ARP protocol so that particular node generates a ARP query and uh, in that particular query it puts universal broadcast MAC address in its destination MAC address field because of this uh, address all the nodes present in that particular uh, network accepts this particular frame or ARP query and they remove header and trailer part of that frame when it becomes packet they uh, all the nodes uh, take out their destination IP address and match, 
matches that particular address with their own IP address. If a node finds a match, then that particular node replies its MAC address to the back to the source. So that is how it it works. And then A creates uh, A uh, creates an entry in its uh, address resolution protocol table, uh, and it puts that MAC address against the IP address, and it that particular uh, that entry is saved inside that particular source node ARP table so that is how it works so that's it for today uh, i'll see you in the next lecture